Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Coates. We're gonna go over leg press for quad emphasis. I've got this old school leg press, but they all pretty much work the same. So you're gonna hear a lot of talk in the industry about how you're supposed to put your feet higher and wider for glutes and hamstrings, and lower and narrower for quads. Well, there's some truth in that, but people make a bigger deal of it than it really is. Leg press is still gonna be a knee dominant exercise. It'll hit your quads really effectively. What we're gonna be looking for is going fairly high rep using the best range of motion possible. So our foot placement is gonna be more about where we can allow our hips to move at greater range. So that way we get more overall volume of work done as opposed to just micro repping it really, really like this much range of motion. That's really stupid guys and way too much weight. That's a good way to place a lot of stress on your joints and not actually accomplish anything. Just look like an idiot in the gym. So let's set up. So a little lower, as long as you're able to push through the heel and they're not rising and there's not undue stress in the knee and you can get good range of motion at the bottom. For me, I like to go a little narrower than my squat stance, but I'm open, grab the platform, squeeze the ball of the foot towards the heel so we've got a good arch, use the hips like in a squat to externally rotate the knees, keep them from collapsing inward. We do not hard lock our knees on reps. That's a no benefit, high risk uh, behavior. If you've got anyone who is hypermobile, women tend to more so than men, we're asking for an injury here. So like massive worst case scenario risk stuff. Grab the handles, pull the shoulder blades back, flex your abs, keep your core tight, and then maximize your range of motion through the entire foot. Maximize through the entire foot. Maximize through the entire foot. Clearly you're gonna do a lot more reps than that. That's just for your, for your benefit to demonstrate it. We're gonna be looking for sets of 12 to 15 I find work really effectively and it becomes a good way to limit just how much weight we're using versus ego lifting for a set of five you're not even gonna feel on your quads.